Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the minimize maximum pair sum in an array. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1877. And I am sure that it will be an easy question for you if you watch the video till the end. So in this question, we are given with an uh, array nums of even num even length, and we have to uh, divide the given array in such a way that the maximum pair sum so maximum pair sum is minimized now what is actually a pair sum suppose we have different pairs 1 5 2 3 4 4 so if you sum both the elements you will get like 6 from here 5 from here and 8 from here so you have to minimize this sum the maximum pair sum so in this the maximum pair sum is 8 so you have to divide the array in such a way that the maximum possible pair sum is actually minimum. So for this there is only uh, one possible way that you pair up the largest element of the array with the smallest element with of the array. Because if you choose any other element other, the, other than the smallest element to pair up with the largest element it will form a greater uh, pair sum rather than the pair sum formed by using the minimum and the maximum maximum element so in this case we are sure that we want to use the smallest and the largest element and uh, we can use something as a frequency table or a hash table to count the frequency of the minimum possible elements and the maximum possible elements and uh, one by one pair all these like take first take a minimum then take a maximum pair then take another minimum take another maximum pair it and from this whichever, whichever maximum sum is coming just simply return that now we are sure in this case that the maximum sum obtained from here is actually minimum why because as I already told you any other number pair up, paired up with the largest element of the array will give a greater sum rather than pairing up the largest element of the array with the smallest element of the array so I have also designed a uh, like dry run of the solution let's see suppose we have a example 3 5 2 3 so many pairs can be formed from here like 3 and 5 can be formed 2 and 3 can be formed but the minimum possible maximum pair sum will be if you join the 7 if you join the 5 with the 2 then we, you will have a 7 and 3 and 3 are paired together so as you can see the minimum is to be paired up with the maximum the minimum is to be paired up with the maximum in this case also so first of all you will take a hash table count the frequency of each element and then take a minimum value at the minimum element and the maximum value at the maximum element and start pairing up the minimum and the maximum values and as as soon as you complete the pairing up of the uh, entire array you can return the maximum of the possible sums of the pairs so you can see I have created here a dry run so the low was 2 and the high was 5 so the maximum pair sum was updated to 7 and for the rest of the array it was greater so we have not taken it so let's start with the coding section but before that please do like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel so first of all uh, we need to take the maximum element initialized with integer minimum then the minimum element initialized with the maximum value and then hash table to count the frequency of the minimum and the maximum elements uh, 
personal constraints distance power 5 so we will take 1 2 3 4 1 according to the constraint we have taken the hash and iterate through the array take the count hash of num plus plus update the max with the max comma then num update the minimum with the minimum comma num and now we have to take the low equal to min and then we have to take the high equal to the max we have taken and we have to start pairing up the minimum with the maximum minimum with the maximum and the we can we can use the max variable to count the maximum possible sum because the function of max is done till here now we can use it for other purpose so we'll count the maximum sum in in the max variable while low is less than high i think we can do it less than equal to because 3 3 pair is also possible <coughs> so <coughs> first of all check if hash of low equal equal to 0 that it does not exist so low plus plus <coughs> count of low is actually 0 then do a low plus plus else if the hash of high equal equal to 0 then do a high minus minus ok otherwise if both are present a low is also present a high is also present we have to do max equal to mat dot max of the max and the low plus high just pair up the lowest with the highest element to a hash of low minus minus do a hash of high plus plus high also minus minus and afterwards <coughs> we have to simply return the maximum pair sum so now let's check it if it runs ok seems fine try to submit it ok the solution is accepted quite a good time complexity the memory is actually this because we have used a uh, count of this size uh, rather than if you use uh, something like a maybe a hash map or a priority queue you may get a better memory but this is more com convenient and easy to understand that's why i use this uh, you can also do is that one thing you can also do is that you can instead of initializing with such a large number you can take the length of nums plus one and then you may get a less memory in that case so coming to the time complexity the time complexity is actually the algorithm iterates through the array once so the time complexity is o of n and the space complexity is uh, you can see this like uh, although this may be counted as a constant only we are taking a constant space but since the n can be of this size so you can you may say that the space complexity of the solution is o of n therefore the time complexity and the space complexity both can be said as o of n so i hope you understood the video 
like first of all we are taking the minimum and the maximum then we are trying trying to pair up the ma minimum element with the maximum element and storing the maximum of the minimum and the maximum sum so this was my solution approach for today's problem i hope you understood the logic thank you for watching the video please do like the video have a nice day